Question three, will my financial aid carry over to my new school? Very good question, very important thing to consider when you're transferring. Unfortunately, you can't just show up at your new school and have your financial aid carry over. Obviously, tuition is going to be different at your school, um, at your new school, and the way they evaluate your eligibility is going to be a little bit different. So from the school's point of view, you're coming in as brand new students. So they're doing everything from scratch. Your FAFSA, FAFSA? FAFSA. 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 <laughs> FASPA. Um, you don't have to redo it necessarily, but you do have to add your new school. Basically, FASPA offers a space to put in any school that you will be applying your federal financial aid it's to. Like the first thing you should do. Yeah. So add that school to your list. Um, and again, this is one of those things that you should definitely reach out to guidance counselors about. Um, and, you know, of course, like Tyler mentioned, there's a lot of faculty and staff that are very highly specialized at colleges and universities, so there may even be a counselor that specializes in transfer financial aid at your mm -hmm. new school, depending on the size of your school and what they have going on. Um, so find the right people to talk to, and then you can figure out how much aid you're going to be eligible for at your new school. Are there any scholarships and grants at your new school that you're eligible for? Um, so all of those things, you need to stay ahead of the curve with that and just make sure you're communicating with you know the schools that you're considering to make sure that it will be okay for your financial situation. But you do have to kind of start over, so to speak. Uh, you made a good point right there about <coughs> scholarships too. Some schools may have transfer uh, specific scholarships mm -hmm. and so if you maybe you have a scholarship at your old school and you're maybe afraid to transfer because you're like well I have this scholarship it might not be the exact same probably not mm -hmm. but there might be scholarships available for you at the new school so definitely something to pay attention to look out for deadlines look online mm -hmm. again collegeexpress.com college, college <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, go look out for that and, and pay attention to any of that. Yeah, I actually got a transfer. Well, it wasn't exactly transfer specific, but I got a grant, um, you know, for my first semester at Northeastern because of my academic excellence at my previous school. <laughs> 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 I was an excellent student, believe it or not. All right. So one thing though uh, is uh, one, one next thing, uh, question. Is very aware of. Next question, please. Yeah. <laughs> Every everything you guys said was great, but if you do a private loan through anybody, they might not <laughs> accept that you're transferring, and so you'll have to go and ask for a deferment because if you don't, they're gonna expect you to start paying it back almost instantaneously. So mm -hmm. as soon as you transfer, you may be taking out new <coughs> loans, but having to pay back loans at the exact same time, and. Uh, <coughs> Nobody wants that. No. So make sure that if you do have a private loan and it will not transfer transfer, <laughs> transfer over to your new school to ask for a deferment, usually it's going to be the three plus years, maybe three and a half, depending on when you're transferring. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you do that so you're not digging yourself further in the hole while you're at school. And then at the end, you can start paying everything off into one instead of doing it while you're at school because that's a nightmare. Right. You can also go to the school's financial aid office if they do give you financial aid, but it wasn't enough for you to be able to afford to go there. You can go talk to them, um, maybe explain your circumstances if it's something that you really need more money for. They can try to work with you, see if they can get you more money. Sometimes they're flexible. Can try. Doesn't yeah, hurt. yeah, does, yeah, exactly. It does <laughs> not hurt to try. Uh, go in there and ask, and usually financial aid packages for schools are very much varying school to school and they can usually say okay we can only offer this much and then you go in and talk to somebody like oh here's an extra three four grand yeah and go well where did that come from uh and as dan mentioned the scholarships for specifically transfer students so you can potentially transfer over some of the scholarships that you already have some of those might not be eligible with the new school again it's very important to talk to a guidance counselor or somebody that's very specific in that school for financial aid but see what transfers over even if you don't get X, Y, and Z, try to go out for new scholarships that are specific to transfer, and then uh, maybe you can negate some of that damage that you're going to be taking. And those scholarships aren't as competitive as other ones, because they're only transfer. So it might be easier to win them. Is the stat 36% transfer I don't know. students? I think it's 36. I don't know, that's that. 
want to say 39. 39. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise you 3%. I think 37. <laughs> so. 36 to 39. Everything was, it's a range. I don't have Sorry. an opinion. <laughs> oh, it's not a long You're supposed to say 38. Yeah. And we just cover yeah, the bases. just cover the bases, yeah. 38. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's uh, the financial aid package in general is number one. Uh, and, again, just to drill into your brain, sign up for FAFSA. FAFSA? FAFSA. FAFSA? FAFSA. FAFSA. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> so make sure you sign up for it right off the bat uh, put that school down so that you do have that aid if, if it's available for you um, check in with your lenders right off the bat if you did any private loans or anything that's outside of that make sure that it can transfer to the new school if it doesn't set up that deferment look at your scholarships see what transfers apply for new scholarships and I think that's a good coverage check, check. Yeah. nice Thank you.